We got us a corpse and cartridge occasion. Right before the alpha, they gave us a look at each character's short move list. Power Crush, Rage Art, the heat system, it was all there. For Jun Kazama, when you translate or at least look up what the names of some of these attacks are, you are faced with very interesting results. The first heat engager attack I want to talk about is Ame no Habakiri. This translates to Blades of Heavenly Wings. One of the swords, which is the white one, has the power to slice heaven in two. The other one is sharp enough to cut through the bottom of hell. That is the power of her first ability. Her heat smash, Yomototsu, Omayumi. This means ugly woman of the underworld. In Japanese mythology, it was a hag sent by the dead Izanami to pursue her husband for shaming her and breaking her promise. Every single thing I read, I want you guys to think about Jun Kazama Kazuya Mishima and just everything that they're going through. When I see ugly woman of the underworld, the hag sent by the dead Izanami to pursue her husband for shaming her and breaking her promise, that sounds like everything that Jun Kazama is trying to do besides minus being a hag. But Kazuya did a whole lot and I wouldn't be surprised if there was some promises made back in Tekken 2 before he died and I wouldn't be surprised if he also broken those promises. In Naruto, Yomoso Hira Saka is also the name of a slope that leads to the underworld of Japanese mythology. Now, when I think of this, you have the spiritual void of Tekken Tag Tournament 2 where Jun Kazama is present, unknown later corrupts it, but then also in Tekken 8, we have this dried up desert with a hand coming out of the ground. This could also be referencing that moment in time. Here's where we talk about the rage art, and this is where Vermilion Bite comes into play. June Rage Art is called Amatsu Izanami. Izanami is the goddess of creation and death in Japanese mythology. Very powerful god. They have a really cool theory here about how Hydro Clans is a descendant of Azel and the Kazama are descendants of angels. And those two are kind of like clashing forces. I like that theory, but I want to talk about Amaterasu. Who is Amaterasu? Another very powerful god in Japanese mythology. And another big part of her mythology is hiding missing. Why did Amaterasu hide in a cave? According to the myth, Amaterasu hid herself in a cave after a dispute with her impetuous younger brother Sasano, bringing darkness to the land until she was eventually lured out by the goddess Murph with laughter and a mirror, bringing light to the world again. Once again, Jun Kazama. I did a video talking about the Sanctum stage in Tekken 8 and how that relates to Jun Kazama. If we think about Jun Kazama being Amaterasu, hiding in that cave, the world is covered in darkness as it is in Tekken and also in Amaterasu's situation. When they both emerge out of that cave, their light is reflected onto the world and they end all the chaos. Both of their stories is lining up perfectly. But let's go back to the rage art. The rage art, it says Amatsu. Amatsu is a totally different god who is sometimes confused with Amaterasu. Amatsu is an evil entity that was born out of rancor and desire for revenge of the goddess Izanami. Now, when I read this, I think Azel. Azel is the creature who was made of darkness. The rectifier of all things is his title. Another thing that this could be referencing is Jun Kazama's in-game fighting ability. When she uses that purple energy, it hurts her. It takes life away. So with Jun Kazama, you kind of got to balance the light and the darkness. And you can see her being not only Amaterasu, the light, but also Amatsu. The chaos. If we look at the second name, Izanami. Izanami is a very powerful god in Japanese mythology. The story of Izanami and Izagami is a strange one. You have two god brother and sisters who fall in love with one another. Izanami dies while giving birth and Izagami goes into the underworld to retrieve her. He is told not to look at her but he does anyways and see that her flesh is rotting. He gets scared and he runs away. For not following Izanami's order because she is the divine god, she sends spirits after him. Now even though this is a weird story and it's hard to relate to Tekken, I think we still can. With her returning in Tekken 8, there are some similarities there between Izanami and Izagami meeting. Their reunion, a complete disaster. Another set of characters who I think also can represent 
Izanami and Izagami is Jun Kazama and Claudio. Maybe the betrayal, maybe the backstab that is hinted at in Izanami's story is there with Claudio. There's a lot of theories, a lot of videos that is being put on the internet right now that is explaining how Claudio could be the true villain of Technique. In this video, I just want to talk about all of the factual references in Jun Kazama's move list. So many different deities and gods in Japanese mythology, and this is definitely gonna shine through in the story in one way or another. Please consider subscribing to the channel and also leaving a like on this video. And thank you for watching, and bye bye.